Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode five of Cybar Chats, High Trust Edition. Due to popular demand, today we'll be discussing High Trust Quality Assurance, or QA, with High Trust Manager Swapi West. Swapi, could you please talk a little bit about the recent changes in High Trust QA? Glad you asked, Michelle. We're getting a lot of questions about the new High Trust Reservation System as part of the High Trust Quality Assurance. Before July 2021, after an authorized assessor like Bar Advisory completes the validated assessment, the assessor will submit the completed assessment to High Trust to conduct their quality assurance, and it would take eight to 10 weeks. To remove that guesswork, High Trust started a reservation system, which is a functionality within the High Trust MyCSF platform, which will allow our organizations or our clients to schedule when the quality assurance work will begin for that specific CSF validated assessment. The best part is that assessed entities are, you know, or organizations will be able to or have the ability to select when QA begins for a high trust CSF validated assessment up to a year in advance. This, this will tremendously help organizations to plan according to their client commitments or needs. And it will also help external assessors like BAR with our internal scheduling as well. So this is a great change, which would um, you know, benefit greatly in the whole high trust certification process. And who does this change apply to? As of July 1st, 2021, all high trust CSF validated assessments that have not previously been submitted to high trust will be required to make a reservation prior to submission. So this is, this is in progress, this is already happening. So if you did not submit the assessment for quality assurance, you will have to do the reservation before you submit to quality assurance to high trust. How can companies make a reservation? Through High Trust My CSF platform. This is this is the platform you know we'll use to do the validations and any you know add any uh, caps or gaps. So this is the same platform. High Trust My CSF platform will be used to make a reservation as well. But to make a reservation, the assessment should have a valid validated assessment report credit at the time of the reservation. And, you know, we always talk about uh, our client commitments and needs. And if we have to get the assessment or the report at a certain day or, you know, certain timeline, we could use this reservation system or we could also expedite the QA process. So if the organizations wants the QA process expedited, they have to get an expedited credit. This is not the typical validated assessment report credit we talked about earlier. This is different. This is the expedited credit. And this will help the reservation, you know, to be expedited and get the QA process started a little bit early. So talk about these different options with your assessor or high trust when you make a reservation. So what would happen if organizations are unable to submit the assessment by the reservation date? If organizations don't submit the assessment on or before the submission date, they selected initially when they did the first reservation, the reservation will be canceled by High Trust, and we will have to make a new reservation to submit the assessment. Also, keep in mind, if we can cancel the assessment 30 days or more prior to the submission date, we're able to schedule a new reservation without incurring a change fee. So anything that's done within that 30 days to your initial submission date, we would incur a change fee. So you mentioned assessed entities would have the ability to select when QA begins. Does that mean organizations will have different options to choose from? Yes. After the organization select the date they plan to submit the validated assessment to High Trust, based on that submission date, the reservation system will provide organizations with various QA blocks to pick from. So a QA block is like a one week increment that contains the reservation slots, which are tied to the specific assessment. So depending on the submission date, you will have various options. If one QA block doesn't work, which is a week, doesn't work for, the, for that reservation, you can pick another QA block. How long after the QA block can an organization expect to receive the draft report? 
One thing to keep in mind is that reservation does not represent the date Hytrus will finish the QA. This is the most common question we get. Uh, we just submitted, you know, we picked the QA block so is that when we get the draft report or the final report. Reservations within a QA block just indicate that the week the Hytrus analyst will begin the QA procedures on that specific assessment. So for, you know, if our assessments, a typical QA workflow, external assessor organizations like VAR can expect to receive feedback from High Trust after the QA block within seven to 10 business days. So currently we are seeing four to five weeks is what it takes to get a draft report out. Well, thank you, Swathi. We will be discussing more changes and enhancements in the High Trust CSF in our upcoming sidebar chats. Thank you all for joining and have a great day. Thank you.